Hello everyone, my name is Abby Bliss White and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to do a classic get ready with me. I am going to be using some products that are at the Sephora sale. I have got many questions and requests for me to use some products on camera. So today I am using some subscriber requests, some combinations. I had a request to use the combination of the Skin Correct kind of as concealer slash foundation and then use the new Dior. This is the, and then use the new Dior backstage powder, no powder as foundation. So we're going to be using this combination today as well as some other requests from Tom Ford Dior. <laughs> West Manitilli A, and then I had some perfume questions. So if you are interested in seeing how I created this look, topping it off with some fragrance, then let's go ahead and get started. Okay, today I'm sort of addressing subscriber kind of questions and requests. So as I have mentioned before, I have fine hair and I can't use products that are super heavy. And I had gotten a question about a product to kind of smooth out the ends of your hair. And one thing that I absolutely love is the Burb Ghost Oil. Like I am literally down to the end here you guys I love this and what I do is I just take a little bit like this and this one is not going to weight your hair down but it is going to help kind of with the little flyaways and then I will run this through the ends of my hair as well as the top so it is perfect for people that have a little bit more fine hair that can get weighted down so I just kind of take that and this is where I tend to get my little flyaways, I'll kind of tuck it over to the side for a bit. And then I can even just go through here and it's not going to be too greasy or anything like that. And of course it smells good too. So this is the Verb Ghost Oil. So I had a request to use the combination this morning of using the Forever Skin Correct kind of as foundation underneath my eyes but just kind of spot checking it and then using this Dior backstage powder no powder kind of as a foundation so again I have dry mature skin I have prepped my skin just with my skincare and SPF and then what I will do I will take my skin correct and we're going to start with just a little bit by the eye area and then I'm going to put a little bit on the cheeks you guys a little bit of redness down a little bit on my chin I'll take this on the forehead down to the bridge of the nose so I didn't use too much you guys but I definitely would need a little bit of coverage to kind of cover up the redness and I forgot to mention that I love this Dior kind of backstage brush it is so soft and you just simply use it like this. I love to use it with my Dior Air Flash. That's another one that I really enjoy. So I'm gonna just buff this into my skin here. And we're just gonna use this technique this morning. Okay guys, here is what it looks like just all over the skin. Really love that skin correct and I have to say I probably love it the best all over the face. Just easy to use and it tends to just kind of and it tends to just give me light bit of coverage. Feels like nothing on the skin and does not really sink into my wrinkles. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this backstage powder, but I'm going to kind of use it as foundation. I'm actually going to use this Dior brush as well. So I am going to take a little bit of this powder just like this. And then we are going to use this kind of like a powder foundation. Okay. 
Okay guys, this just smoothed everything out. And the reason that I really love this powder is that yes, it kind of does blur the skin just a bit, but if you can see, it's giving me a little bit of a glow. And the Skin Correct little concealer is not necessarily like a glowy kind of base. Uh, so this powder has kind of a cool effect where it's going to give you a little bit of that radiant lit from within, but it's also going to mattify, set your makeup and do all of that. Now I am going to use the Forever Perfect Fix to kind of set everything. And I was asked about kind of a good face mist and I really do like this one. I also love the Charlotte Tilbury one. So I'm going to go ahead this one is a newer one to my, this one's a newer one. And again, for also for, to kind of tame those little flyaways, I find whenever I put the little mist on, I will just kind of brush through that and it will also kind of tame those down. Okay, I had a request to use the Tom Ford. This is Mink Mirage. And someone was asking me like, what's the best basic Tom Ford kind of quad? And I have so many that I love, but this one would be the one that I would say is your perfect kind of smoky neutral eye. This is one that I often travel with because it's just kind of gonna be easy to use kind of like that everyday eye look. So I am going to do a quick little look using that today. Oops, almost forgot. Someone asked me about a smudge proof eye primer. I'll be honest, you guys, I don't typically use one, but if I was to use one, the best one I've ever tried is NARS. So I do own this. It is a good one. I just tend to forget this step. I don't tend to have like oily eyelids or anything where I find that shadow doesn't stay on. So if you are looking for a good eyeshadow primer, this NARS is one of the best. Okay, it feels really nice and comforting. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put on the bone colored shade and I am just going to kind of place that as a base. Then I'm gonna go into my favorite color and this is basically kind of your perfect sandy taupe color. And I'm gonna just put this in the crease and kind of blend that out. So I'm gonna start in the crease and then I'll put the excess kind of all over the lid. And I am playing with BK Beauty. They sent me a bunch of really nice brushes. And so that is what I am using today. I will give a full review on those, but I'm using uh, 202, this brush. And don't worry, I will blend. I'm just gonna start by creating that shadow on the eyes. And I'm going to go into this deeper, beautiful, chocolatey tone over here. And I am going to kind of create a little bit more depth on the outer V. And you guys, this is what I've created so far. Basic neutral eye that I love. Then I'm gonna come in with this brown again. I'm gonna run it underneath my lash line. Then we're gonna smoke it out with this beautiful kind of black charcoal color here. So I'm gonna take the brown and 
Just run that on the bottom lash line. Actually gonna go ahead, I'm gonna run that on the top lash line as well just to kind of create this really pretty smoke. We're gonna be putting that black on top, but kind of want to go ahead and create that smoky definition on that lid. Okay guys, this is what it looks like just with the three tones right here. And then I'm going to intensify and use this black and kind of push it in towards the lash line. And Okay guys, classic kind of everyday smoky eye. And then I am going to use the Gucci, the L'Obscure Mascara. And we're gonna coat some of that on. But basically this Tom Ford Mink Mirage just creates your basic everyday kind of smoky eye. It really is fantastic. And the shadows are nice and buttery, easy to use. Okay. Had a request to use the Westman Atelier. This is the Coupe de Soleil and use it directly on and use it directly on my skin so you can see it in action. And this has a warmer undertone and I'm definitely going to give me a little sun-kissed look here. Okay, we have warmed up the skin, kind of neutral face going on, and then I have to pull out my Dior. This is the Backstage Rosy Glow, and I know I've talked about this so much on my channel, but it looks scary in the pan, but it completely livens up your complexion, and it's not going to look scary. So I wanted to mention this one of my favorite blushes ever, and I am just going to kind of give my skin a little bit of a flush. And I'm going to take a little bit of my blush, you guys. I am usually like to put just a little bit of my bronzer or a little bit of my blush and kind of tie that in to my eye look. And I just want to give it this eye look just a little bit of freshness here. So it's a fantastic smoky neutral eye and I'm just adding a teeny bit of the rosy flush right there just to kind of tie the cheek and the eyes together. And then for lips, I realized that I had not shared one of my favorite colors from Tom Ford, and that is Casablanca. They actually still have the limited edition. This is in the kind of, this is in the kind of rose prick packaging. I'm a sucker for pink, you guys. But the key is Casablanca is just one of my favorite tones ever. I have gone through a full one of these in the regular Tom Ford packaging and then I have the limited edition packaging as well and I will show you. And to me, it's just like your perfect kind of mid-toned rose shade. I find it to go I find it to go perfect with a neutral eye. So I think I have hit all of the requests except for we're going to quickly do fragrance of the day. I had a question about tobacco vanille and this is one of my favorite kind of tobacco scents. As many of you know, I love vanilla and tobacco can mean different things to different people. So 
tobacco leaves can actually add a little bit of sweetness, a teeny bit of smokiness, but it does not necessarily mean like cigarette kind of smoke. Tobacco vanille is a sweet tobacco fragrance. You definitely smell that beautiful vanilla in there. This is a little bit sensual. This is sophisticated and I love to wear it alone, but I also love to layer this one with several other fragrances. It gives a nice kind of warm, sensual base. It also can sweeten up. It also can sweeten up fragrances or even kind of lighten them up a tad. If you have a super heavy fragrance or if you have a super light airy fragrance, tobacco vanille is really nice to kind of ground it. This also has some gourmand elements in here. You definitely can smell cinnamon in here. I almost feel like some chocolatiness is coming out. This is definitely gonna be sort of a warm amber kind of fragrance. But as I said the other day, I wear fragrances year round. Some might kind of consider to back Vani as winter fallish kind of fragrance. Again, you get to do you. And if you are someone who likes tobacco fragrances, remember that tobacco can actually have a freshness to them. It also can have a sweetness. There's definitely going to be some warmth to it, a little element of smokiness, but this is just a really beautiful, again, again, kind of sweet vanilla tobacco scent. It is definitely on the sexy side. It pairs beautifully with Lost Cherry. Like this combination is just to die for. Really beautiful. I know many of you have tried that combination and it is fantastic. So got a question about that fragrance and wanted to go ahead and address it. Definitely one of my favorites from the Tom Ford collection. Okay guys, the Soleil Brulant just showed up. So I thought we better talk about it real quick. So first of all, let me just show you the box that it comes in. Take a moment to look at the beautiful gold bottle. On the top, you guys, it's got the signature kind of Soleil, the white and gold packaging. So pretty. And when I read the notes in here, I just knew that I was going to love it. I immediately put it on and I, and it did not disappoint. So this is a warm amber scent. It smells, it's got some beautiful florals in here, but the, this is not sort of like fresh morning dew kind of flowers, like when they're kind of wet and lush. This is more like at the end of the day when they have been kissed by the sun. So again, more of a warm fragrance. When you first spray this out, there is a little bit of spice in here. Um, and I definitely get that kind of honey accord. So there is a sweetness to this, but again, very tempered with the amber. This does have a summery vibe, but it is not sunscreeny or coconutty or anything like that. It is almost as if you have been out in the sun. You've got a little touch of almost a little bit of red, like maybe you were in the sun just a teeny bit more than you should have been. No, this is a summer fragrance, but it is a warm summer fragrance. I gravitate towards warmer kind of amber oriental fragrances. And I would say that falls in, and I would say that this Soleil Brulant falls into that category. So just know that it's not one of these kind of light, airy, kind of coconutty, um, sunscreeny kind of summer fragrances. This is going to be more of your warm, rich, sensual kind of amber scents. It definitely has florals in it. I definitely feel I definitely smell a little bit of sweetness from the honey and it's kind of making me think of like after I have been out in the sun, I'm not someone who tans naturally, but let's just pretend for a moment I did, but my skin is sort of like warmed up by the sun and I have a nice little bronze or a little bit of redness peeking through on my skin. So I, def so I definitely feel that warmth like sun tanned skin. So you're definitely showing a little skin in 
So you're definitely kind of showing a little bit of skin. I'm kind of thinking of this as an evening. I'm kind of thinking of this as evening. This is not like an evening scent. You can wear it all day, but just in my mind, when I'm trying to describe it to you, I would say that you're definitely wearing like a sun dress. You've been out in the sun. You definitely have that kind of glow coming on. This is taking me to someplace a little bit more tropical, like the sandy beaches, the ocean air. I definitely do feel the summer vibes here, but just in a more warm, ambery kind of way. And actually the color of my sweater, this is actually a new Jenny Kane sweater. This is actually a new Jenny Kane sweater. This one just came out. This is the color rose, but again, I'm kind of thinking of that kind of rose tone kind of coming out, peeking on your skin from the sun. So let me give you the notes really quick. It's got bergamot, and bergamot tends to give you a little bit of freshness, like kind of a burst of freshness upon the opening. It also has mandarin orange and pink pepper. This definitely has a spice to it. So when I first sprayed this out, I don't find it to be super citrusy or uh, one of those kind of citrusy kind of bergamot freshies. I find this to be, again, automatically a little bit more warm. So I definitely get that little pink pepper. The middle notes are orange blossom and honey, and that's actually a really beautiful combination. So I definitely smell the florals in here. I definitely get a little bit of sweetness from the honey. And then in the base, you've got woody notes, which of course I love woodiness, resin, amber, olibanum, leather, and vetiver. So again, you guys, all of those, uh, so again, you guys, all of those are going to be warm kind of notes. This is... This is not a strong leathery scent. Uh, there's definitely a lift in here from kind of the bergamot touch of the citrus. And again, that sweetness from the honey and orange blossom. But to me, this is a fantastic summer scent because I tend to gravitate towards those warmer amber orientals. And I just love this. This has a bit of summer in this gold bottle, just in a warmer way, not your typical kind of summer scent. So I also got the black sand eyeshadow. So I will do a whole video using these products and giving you a little bit more information on the wear time, but thought I would go ahead, pop on and tell you my initial thoughts. So you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll be back with another video soon.